save that shit because that's your money. It's free money. It's free education. Motherfuckers complain all about in high school. Ain't no black history class. But then you go to college where there's a whole Afro-American studies department and ain't one black person in the fucking class. That's some bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's a whole fucking department about you to learn about yourself. And you know what the funny shit is when they say put shit in books and niggas won't know it? It's the realest shit in the fucking mm -hmm. world. Because right. niggas would rather watch reality. BET is a fucking joke. Bullshit. I remember BET when it was video link. Free and AJ yeah. was on 106 and Park. The they was going around college yeah. campuses and shit trying to get yeah. you to go really to school. You know what I'm right. saying? Really like, all that shit. They don't do that shit no more. Yeah. They don't fucking... They... The game. What the fuck is the game? What are we gonna get from the fucking game? The BET Awards is a fucking joke, and then you get black people mad. This is what, and I tweeted, I tweeted this shit yesterday. I don't understand how niggas will wait in line for a $150 pair of tennis shoes. That's not I gonna last that. them more than three months, but won't spend $16 on a CD that will last them for the rest of their fucking life. And then they mad when the Grammys come up that niggas like Macklemore winning best R&B. Macklemore is the, ind they're independent. They, 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 they independent. They, you don't know, if y'all don't know what that shit weighs in on, like y'all don't understand shit, but y'all want to judge shit so quickly, but then y'all mad because this not coming out of it, but y'all not put, black people are the only group of people that will spend their money outside of their race before any other people. Mm -hmm. Korean money, it, 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 it multiplies like four times. Jewish money multiplies like eight, ten times. Right. Black money don't multiply at all because we go spend our money with everybody then fucking Then they else. contradict. Then they contradict. That's the fucking problem with black. Then they that's, the, that's the problem with the fucking whole world. Real we all fucking ignorant. And, and then when people give that. you information, you, you don't want to listen to the information. You want to be mad. You want to judge a motherfucker. You want to tell me something about, example, Barack Obama. What's the best thing he done did for black people since he's been in office? Besides the fact that he is black. Shit. Don't worry, I'll wait. Shit. Don't worry, I, and I'm yeah, glad. Man. And I voted Shit. for him the first time, and I couldn't even vote last year because I felt wrong voting for any fucking body. Yeah. Like, I don't right. have shit to believe in. You want to talk about hope? You don't give me shit to hope in. I'm a black woman. I work 54 hours a week, and I'm barely fucking making it. Like, I don't have puppet, time bro. to do shit. Right. What is Obamacare? You want to know Obamacare? It closely mocks the Canadian universal health care system. Mm -hmm. And you know what the problem with universal health care in Canada? Everybody has it, but you got to wait. It's not based on need. It's based on first come, first serve. So it's not the fact that we won't have health care, but our access to it will be limited. If you don't understand shit like that, you don't understand how Obama's actually detrimental to the black community. We have to get served when we go to the emergency room, regardless of health care before all this shit. They couldn't turn us away. That was the fucking law. They had to make stabilize us at least shit. If we're going to die, at least we ain't going to die and they're going to be on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was based on the, we don't believe in shit. You want to go and judge? Over in Europe, that shit, this shit right here, this shit is minuscule. This shit is, this... They, they laugh at fucking us because we don't even give a fuck right. about ourselves. Right. And then all these motherfuckers with money want to go over there and pretend to give a fuck about the next motherfucker. Like, it's a fucking joke. And then you got all these rap artists who went to college but got motherfuckers thinking that it's dumb as, you dumb as hell if you go, I went to fucking college. It was the best fucking four years of my fucking life. I wouldn't be the person I was if I wouldn't been, went to college. If you cannot write well, you cannot think well. If you cannot think well, someone else would do the thinking for you. Yes. Tell me how all these fucking rappers know how to write. All these... Outlandish, outrageous, amazing metaphors. But ain't none of these motherfuckers got a college education. That's some bullshit. Motherfucking Wayne got a degree in psychology from the yes, University of exactly. fucking Houston. He was a 4.0 fucking student. Yes, Motherfucking T.I. True. went to college. Fucking while I went to college, Jay dropped out. We all know that. But realistically, look at Jay Z. Everybody on the Forbes list either dropped out of college or don't or has a college diploma. Jay Z, damn near shit. He. Fuck, you don't have to, you don't have to go to school, you just gotta know your surroundings, you gotta absorb information, share information, be exposed to shit. If you don't know shit, all your, your life just gonna eat you the fuck up, and you gonna continue to be a victim. Black people just wanna stay and be complacent, and, 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 and right. get shit for free, ain't shit free. If you don't work for shit, you ain't gonna get shit back. Woo. I don't do music because I want something. I fucking love music. I found out a long time ago what my gift was. I can talk really fucking well. Yep. I speak very fucking well. And my mama has made me very musically adept. She made me fucking sing in the choir at church from the age of one to the I, age of fucking 20 something. I remember them you know what I'm saying? I started playing the piano when I was a kid. I don't know how to read music. I can play by ear. I started writing because my brother made beats in his room and we didn't have shit to do. And he needed somebody to rap to him. So that's how the fuck I started doing music. And I'm good at it. I love it. Like, it's something I want to do. I feel like people need to. Music is. Music is the weapon. I know motherfuckers didn't heard that shit. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they market music the way they fucking do? Because, because it has the power to influence and, and the manipulate the people, become what they listen to. And, and, and 
It's not a secret. It's not. A, it's not a, a mistake that the music industry markets violent or gangster yeah. or detrimental music towards the black to community it. because we kill our fucking oh, selves. Yeah. All that bitches can, you know, boot, booty me down and make that ass clap and roll your ass like a twenty-four and niggas all know all of your gaudy lyrics and all the jeans that you. But y'all know the uplifting shit. Do y'all know that M.I.A.'s record label said that she couldn't drop her label or her fucking uh, her fuck? She couldn't drop her album because it was too positive. It wow. was too conscious. That's Did you know that shit? shit? Lupe Fiasco. We all saw what Lupe went through. Oh, they try to portray, he's very ingenious. They try to say he's crazy. They try to be fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. They do that to fucking everybody. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It's so much money and shit. We, we could get him to buy gangster music, then we can get him to go to jail. And we can make more money in these private so prisons that's owned by the music industry. So you know what I'm saying? Man, it's all a circle. You never lose money in the music industry. That's a fucking lie. You get that shit back tenfold. A loss is still profit. Because you make something back, even if it ain't all what you invested. Investments get wrote the fuck off. That's just how the shit... It's money every fucking word. You just gotta put your name on it. And if you do something that you love, the money just gonna come to you. It's not about winning. It's about doing what the fuck you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it and what you believe. In. And if you believe that shit, motherfuckers will believe in you. And that's the end of my fucking rant. I'm sorry. <laughs>